Let's begin then with OpenAI's upgrade to Codex. Codex is a version of OpenAI's models that has been specifically trained for coding. And it's been around for a while, but it's previously operated on O3 architecture. And now this week it's been upgraded to GPT-5. If you've not used it before, it's designed to be more hands-off than Claude code. And it can run in your IDE or in your terminal, executing commands for you at hours of a time. Code refactoring and smaller tasks, as well as longer tasks. So according to the decoder, this model adjusts its compute time depending on task difficulty, using fewer tokens than GPT-5 on simple tasks and more on harder ones. If you think about it, this fits in with the updates OpenAI brought into GPT-5 with their open router. We covered this story a few weeks ago, but you may remember that the GPT-5 was initially beset with a whole bunch of bugs and users complaining. They felt that the model was actually giving them worse answers than GPT-4. So these were all teething problems that started to be ironed out. Now, one of the biggest criticisms I hear from most of my developer network is the sheer amount of tokens that they consume, especially Claude Code. And you use up way more tokens as well if you use one of the models directly with Claude or ChatGPT and cursor to code. Now, of course, if you want unlimited use and you don't want to have to worry about tokens at all, you can, of course, spin up one of the open source models on our everywhere inference, such as GPT OSS. You could do that in just three clicks, though, of course, you've got to factor in server rental costs as well. To me, this upgrade seems like a smart move, but it does speak to how the AI labs are increasingly looking to make their models just more efficient rather than just blindly spending more on compute. GPUs are so heavily in demand at the moment, and I don't think that that's going to slow down, but it is true that the economics of AI models are still far from certain. 